I get asked this question a lot, and I've seen a lot of people asking this question, and it's real simple. How do you do a whatnot show? It is a very simple, thing to do. It is one of the hottest platforms if you are a reseller and if you are a shopper, I highly recommend you go there and do either one of those two. And anyway, I'm going to show you right now how I start a show, book a show, make a listing, activate the show, sell one, close a packet, and wrap it up. The first thing we're going to do is actually create a show. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to come here on that plus sign. We're going to hit schedule a show right there. Schedule a show. Name your show. We're going to call mine storage unit finds okay so i just I, I could change it anytime you could do a whole show description i got some moderators already laid out let's come in here and we're going to pick a date and time to do it i have one this sunday and i believe i have one booked that sunday i'm going to book this one for the 21st and i'm going to call it 2 p.m actually let's go 1 54 p.m 55 p.m i like to do crazy things like that and I'm going to come in here. You can add a thumbnail. It's real simple. All you could do is go like that. You can hit that there. And you just go boom. And you take a photo like that. I'm just going to do that. Just so you guys can see. Use photo. You don't have to do all that. But you can. I highly recommend making a nice thumbnail. Uh, preview video. You can sit here. And you can go record a video. And you can go. Hey guys. We're going to do a show. Blah blah blah. Yada yada. Done. Right? But. I'm not going to save this on there. We're going to say retake and we're going to close that out of there. And I pick storage unit finds. They have a lot of great categories to choose from. I'm a storage category. You could use tags to help you. Vintage will definitely be one. I'm just going to do one for now. I'll come back in here later and change it. And I always put explicit cuss words because we do a lot of explicit talk, right? And that's just what I do. And boom, you hit schedule and you now have officially booked a show for whatnot like that. Now that we have booked the show, the next thing and probably the most important is getting your items ready and getting them listed to a show so when you're ready, I highly recommend doing it in advance. It's not a criteria. You could sit here and literally, as you're doing it, you can open a box and you can be like, oh guys, look, I got this in a box and I, okay, does anybody want to do this? And you set your price and you can start and go from there. That is one way to do it. It's not to me the most efficient, but it can be fun and the mystery of not knowing what's coming often can actually reflect in your sales. It can help in a positive manner. Some people like that mystery. If you have a show all lined up, some people just come in and they might not like what you have. So you always wanna play devil's advocate and think of the different ways of doing it. Maybe you do different kinds of shows. But I like order because it's your live and stuff. So something I have done is I've created this show. When you sell on whatnot, when you're done, you wanna make things simple. So what I like to do is I have these shelf. I have one through 48 on one shelf, right? There's six per shelf. Then I come over here and I got 49 through 96. And you can actually come over here. Let me see if this one, this is a one through 48 here, but you come over here and we got 97, et cetera, and back on there. I can do up to 200 slots in one show with my shelving system and I have two sets so I can create another show. So what we do is like, say for example, we're gonna do model parts and we can do it and we can just tie it to number seven. We call it number seven and we know when it's sold. Say so we're doing a show and somebody says, hey, I wanna do 68. It's easy to find. It's not like you have a mess of stuff because some people like to make requests. So there's various reasons why this is simple. The most important is that when you're done and your show's over, and you go to look for stuff, it's real simple to find it. And as well, like I said, during the show, you don't wanna be all over the map. We have a nice little structure we run by, and this is not necessary, but we have a little stage here. We use a tripod for our phone because we stream off the phone. We keep it here. We can also put clothes in the background on this piece here. And you can do it anyway. You can have a clothes rack, et cetera, et cetera. We got this cool little music shelf. I love this. This is where we do comic books, books, et cetera. And we just got the tapestry in the back for aesthetics. As well, we run the laptop off this so that I can read the words because it gets to be a little rough sometimes staring at that little phone. Now, making an ad is real simple, guys. I'm just gonna show you here. Here, here's your main page. It says shop shows, et cetera, et cetera. You just click on your show. Here in the store, you click there, and we're gonna we're gonna set this to an auction, right? So we're gonna put this in slot number two because I don't know if I want this to be number one. So we go hashtag two Funko Pop Ashley two, right? And that's real simple. 
you can go description you can get crazy you can put the size of the box you can go all you want to if you want to i'd keep it really simple i hit storage unit finds we come here we say upload photos right you go like this click boom done you could do more you can go one more photo right you can hit one of the back but you're going to show this in an auction so it's not really necessary it just depends on what you're really willing to do we hit next right um shipping profile we're going to do four to seven ounces on the funco and that is the extent of the ag that is one whole listing right there done you watched that didn't even have to really edit that to keep it under a minute but basically that gives you less than uh probably 30 seconds 40 seconds i made that ad we get this up here and then this is what i like about it see so it just goes on number two so we could do that all boom 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 we have the same for clothes so clothes is real simple we bought these tags on amazon we could do the same we put these tags on our thing so what we do for clothes is we go hashtag one through 48 etc cetera, etc cetera, 49 through we keep it all with the hashtag symbol for clothes we just go zero zero one zero zero five 036 and they start a whole second set at the end of your listing so it helps look at sequential when you're in your show because you don't want to be searching for stuff you want to have a long list you can just go boom and it's right there whatever and so when you have 200 items here you want to be able to find it systematically all right pirates now we're going to make a different type of ad this is all still the same so we're here inside of our thing we click the store we go to auction it doesn't matter because you could change that throughout the ad and we're going to go upload photos so we're going to come over here we're gonna get some good photos here. We're gonna get one here. We're gonna get one here. We're gonna get one right here. And then we're done with that part, right? So we got ads going up. Now you can click a few things, like uh, I'm pretty sure that's vintage. Men's fashion. You can go men's vintage and you can hit that, boom. And then you could type in title. We're gonna say number, we're gonna put 022 because that's, I'll show you in a second. 022 hard rock cafe t-shirt nashville then we're going to come in here in the description and we're going to put size small we're going to put condition is good and then that's what we're going to do basically there and so shipping profile a shirt like that is usually probably four to seven ounces so we're going to click four to seven ounces and we're going to hit publish now you can't see you can hit buy it now and give away you can do that right now we're going to go boom publish now i'll show you why i have that see now how we have number hashtag two hashtag three it goes in order now you get all the way down here it's a it's hard to look through all that when you're in an auction so then you start doing that zero zero one zero zero two and it puts it in another numerical order and makes it real simple right i like that say you want to do something nice right we're going to put this silver eagle ounce we're going to do that in a giveaway we're going to come over here and we're going to go photos photo you don't even have to do that but i like to we're going to type in category we're going to go to coins and money coins and bullion boom and we're going to type in smi silver eagle one ounce and then we're going to come up here and we're going to go to the next page because that's all we really have to do we're going to type in how this giveaway works giveaway everyone can enter no we're going to come over here and we're going to type in buyer's appreciation this one is a buyer's appreciation and we're going to type in one ounce and we have a giveaway that's only for those who bought in our auction right that's one giveaway now we're going to do another giveaway this one's just a regular giveaway i'll show you how that's done we're going to come in here and we're going to do giveaway we're going to type in vintage gruesome trading cards right there we're going to put that in a storage category we're going to take a photo so if we have to find it we know what we took it up there's three of those right we're going to come in here we're going to click next we're going to type in a one to three ounces we're going to go every, we're going to get international shipping and followers only and we are going to publish now we have two giveaways entered into the system right there we're going to do another auction giveaway we're going to put this one in number 87 right we're going to come in here we're going to type in 87 vintage gangster rap cassette tapes storage unit finds we're gonna go click click boom boom no pun intended we're gonna type that in boom we get it like that right 
Now, we do want to get a weight on this because this is going to be a little tough to speculate. So we're going to zip this up. We're going to come like that. We're going to take our camera over here. Watch. So go like this. Choo, 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 choo. We got a camera set up on a scale right there. Boom. We got 2 pounds, 15 ounces. So we're going to call that 3 pounds. Actually, that's going to be a little bit more. That's going to be like 3 pounds, 6 ounces, right? Got to count for the box. So let's come over here next. Shipping profile. We're going to do... We're just going to do 3 to 4 pounds. It's just going to make the same thing no matter what happens, right? Photos. Come back. You can always check. You want to come back. Make sure you double checked everything. Click next. And we are done. And you come over here and you put that in 87. Right? Boom. Now you know where it's at. And this is why I like this order because... Boom, you don't have to worry about writing post-it notes, having paper, wasting paper. It's just real simple and efficient. And we're getting it almost done. It's almost showtime right now. As we prepare, we're getting close. We're putting freebies in. We're doing our auction. We're getting ready. It's also time to set the stage. So here's something. This is the reason why I have the TV system here, guys. We run an HDMI cable to our laptop. I'll show you real quick how to do that. You come here to my live streams in the settings here. You come over here to open stream. And voila. You could see a big picture, and now look at the words. You could just stare here and read the words versus the little tiny ones on the phone. And that's why I put this system here, and you'll see it in action in a minute as we wrap up and closer to showtime. All right, Pirates, we now have everything entered in. We got shirt number 49, 42, et cetera, et cetera, all the way there. We got items over here listed from number two all the way. This top shelf isn't done, but it doesn't matter. We started here. We didn't want to take those off there. And we got all these items ready to go. Fluidity. First giveaway is ready. Show is ready. And we are about to put the phone inside the holder and start this show. As you can see, the show is ready. I suggest streaming from a phone. People do it from laptops, tablets, etc. I think a phone is the wisest and you can have multiple things all congruently running as well. I got my phone on my tripod. I run an extension cord and I try to keep a phone charger just in case we get low because I'm going to be doing buy it now. So I'm going to be using this phone, adding in buy it now. So I sometimes got to charge that, but we are ready for showtime. All right. And we are going to start the show show is started guys i always love to start my show we got 14 already in here i like to start my show off with a giveaway we actually usually run two let it warm up let people get in here and we got our giveaway set welcome in guys another sunday show here with the storage auction pirate we got a bunch of stuff set in the buy in the auction we got items two through it looks like 124 we have those all set ready for auction all starting at a dollar and we as well have a frick ton of stuff in the buy it now section feel free to check it out we got items ranging from one dollar to i think 1800 or 1700 i don't know what the highest price is but we got them in all shapes and flavors guys the drawing has started we got 28 entries right up here we got 81 in the chat and we got an auction ready to roll. We have 6,300 things sold. So now you're done, you wanna find your information. You come here, you click here, and you come down to seller dashboard. This has all your stuff. It's real simple, get your payments and everything. You hit seller dashboard, you come over here. We did a show on five, seven, and you can see all of your shows like this. Like here's a previous show, here's a previous show, here's a previous show. They're all just itemized here. It tells you what you sold. So anyways, come back here. Now, we have 62 items to ship. That's the first thing it shows you. We've shipped some already. It tells you what you sold and what you've earned because they're going to take your cut. And it's real cut and dry. You can see your items. This is why I do the numbers. So now I have a number three with no hashtag means close. Hashtag means show. Real simple to find. It edits everything out. Now, you can come here and print your label like this. And it'll just print your label, right? Or you come here and you click this one, boom. And it'll let you choose dimensions and weights. Say you're off a little bit. I highly recommend doing that. And you come down here once you're done and you just hit regenerate label and you click your label and you're done. And it prints the label. And you just do that all through your whole packing, all through your whole packing right here. See, it says label generated, label generated. You come down here, you get down a little ways. It'll start to be where there's no label generator. So everything is cut and dry and real simple and laid out for you. 
to me, that is the basics, the just of how to do a whatnot start to finish. There are little quirks and a lot of things that you're gonna do your own way, the way you want to, but it will all happen as you go. First and foremost, if I had to give advice to somebody to be on whatnot, what I would tell them is this, I would say, don't have huge expectations. When you set yourself up with huge expectations, you have a higher risk of failure, basically, because you put too much expectations. The fact is, it is a platform for selling. To me, it is replacing my flea market atmosphere. I could sell a lot of things in a lot of time. Our lowest sale was probably 187 or something like that, and our best sale was $8,200 on a Sunday afternoon. It was three and a half hours. We sold almost 300 items. But you can move, turn, and burn. I highly recommend organization, like I said. Selfs are simple. You don't need all this. You could do it just safe facing like this on a table anywhere in your driveway your garage whatever the case may be don't let it hold you back you don't need to be on camera I highly recommend being on camera but you don't have to you can face away from you and never look at it you do have to do a little talking and I highly recommend having your stuff set in advance don't just plan to do a show today and, and wing it set one from a week from now get your details in your keywords your items listed let the system see it and produce you out there and those type of things um, that is a key to success for me Michael, if you had one piece of advice to give somebody starting a whatnot today, as you have been doing it from the inside, what would you say? Um, I mean, you said it right. Don't have too much expectations, but just be consistent. Like, set a show for like once a week if you can. Maybe if you do like a show in between. But also try and do giveaways. They like giveaways. If you're willing to give stuff away, that's good too. Yeah. But don't make giveaways. Don't think I have to give stuff away to get followers because you don't want 10,000 followers who come for giveaways. You only need two people in an auction to buy something. So don't just let giveaways be your end all answer. Chris, I'm going to put you on the spot here. Uncle Chris packing our whatnot, guys. Chris, you've been helping us on whatnot for a couple months. If you had to give one piece of advice for somebody, what would you say? I mean, I would have to say definitely preload all your stuff up get everything in there ready to go it just makes your show run a lot smoother and also bring some things into the show as you're live to try to help you sell you know showing a few things few items that you have that you're willing to get rid of and they'll move on during the live show like buy it now as you're saying yes sir i have a question for you what is your take on going in a systematic order or letting people do requests? Um, I, I feel like it's a catch-22, you know? You, you want those people there that are interested in stuff later on, but you also don't, you know, you just kind of want to, it messes with the flow of your show, right, when you're jumping all around, but it also does get the items out that people are wanted and interested in. Basically what he's saying is if you take requests, it might slow you down, uh, but you'll make the people happy who want that item. And you're gonna have to find that rhythm yourself. I have both structures and both work. Anyway, hustle, grind, and wine. It's not a motto, it's a way of life. You know it's best if you ever mess with storage auction pirate. Subscribe. <laughs>